Using a force sensor, let's learn how to make this fun little game. As you apply more force, LEDs depicting a candle gradually light up. To light the wick of the candle, you need to apply a fair bit of force. And if you succeed, all 8 notes in the music scale also play. To make this game, you will require a micro bit, preferably version 2 because that will give you an onboard speaker. You will need a force sensor, a 10 kilo ohm resistor and a breadboard. The reason you need this resistor is because to use the force sensor, which is a analog sensor, you need to create a voltage divider. I have explained what is a voltage divider in another video. So we will take this force sensor and attach it to two of the pins of the breadboard. And then on one of the pins, and it doesn't matter which pin because there is no polarity, we will attach this 10 kilo ohm resistor. Then from the micro bit, I'm taking the 3 volt pin and I'm attaching it to the, the second leg of the force sensor. Not the one to which we have attached the resistor, but the second one. And then I'm taking the pin from the ground and I'm attaching it to the second leg of the resistor. And finally, I'm taking a wire from pin 0 of the micro bit and I'm attaching it to the first leg of the force sensor where we have also attached one of the legs of the resistor. So I hope you understand how we have created this voltage divider. We've taken the force sensor, we have connected the VCC from the micro bit to one of the legs of the force sensor. Then on the second leg of the force sensor, we have attached this resistor and to the other end of this resistor, we have attached the ground pin. And then where we have the force sensor and one leg of the resistor, we have taken the signal pin out from here. To understand how a force sensor works, let's use Tinkercad. This voltage divider circuit is what we have created on our breadboard. So now we have a voltage divider and we can read the value of the analog signal for on pin 0 of the micro bit. So let's write a small program. So I'm going to go to input and I'm going to bring out this block read analog pin 0. And let's just use the show number command to read the value at pin 0. Then I'm going to run the simulation. So when there is no force being applied on the force sensor, we are getting a value of 11. And as I apply force on the sensor, the value changes. So now we are getting a value of 734. If I increase the pressure more, we are getting a value of 800 plus. And if I go all the way, we are getting a value of 913. So the program that we want to write is, we want different things to happen as the force on the sensor changes and that triggers a change in the value of the analog signal. And this value is what we are using to trigger some action, whether to generate some sound or to light up some LEDs or anything else that we want. You know, for example, we could connect a servo motor and uh, control the servo motor based on the force on this sensor. Now that you understand what we are trying to do, I'm going to go into make code, start a new project. And here, I'm going to click advanced, go to the pins menu, and from here, bring out a analog read command. And then from basic, I'm going to get show number command. And I'm going to say, show the value of pin zero as the force on the sensor changes. Because what we saw on Tinkercad was specific to Tinkercad, but we need exact values of our own sensor. So let me transfer this program to my micro bit and then check the actual values on the sensor we are using. So when there is no force being applied to the force sensor, the value we are getting on the micro bit is zero. And as I press the sensor just a little, I'm getting a value of around 77. And if I apply more force, then I'm getting a value of around 683. 
and if i really press it hard i'm getting a value of 786 and if i push it down and then press it really really hard then i get a value of over 800 so we have got some approximate values that we can use for decision making to light up leds in a particular order so i'm going to go into logic and i'm going to get a if then else conditional statement and then from logic i'm also going to get a boolean operator and i'm going to say that if the value that the analog uh, if the value on pin 0 is less than or equal to let's say around 500 which is like very little pressure then we want something to happen and i'm going to click this plus to get a else if command so the way i'm building the logic is i'm saying that if the value on pin 0 is then less than equal to let's say 600 which means bit more pressure then we want something else to happen another else if copy this command and i'm going to say if it is greater than uh, if it is less than equal to 700 and then finally one more because you know we just saw that 800 is is a value which uh, you generate only when you apply a lot of force so when the value is 800 that's our ultimate winning move so i just want to light up different leds so for this i'm going to go into basic i'm going to go into show leds and i'm saying for the very basic one we'll just light up one led and then i'm going to duplicate this and if more force is applied i'm going to light up few more leds and i'm going to duplicate this i'm going to light up more leds and i think i need a couple of more else ifs so i'm going to change this to greater than 700 and 50 so if it is greater than 750 i'm going to light up more leds and in the final one i'm going to say if it is more than that then light up the final led which is like the wick of this candle so you can play with the values you know uh, once we test it out we can see whether these values are sufficient or we need to tweak these values and likewise you can you know change the leds also you if you want you can you know make some strange face appear and uh, you know like if i go to basic and i look at some of the icons then i could choose like this face and by applying more and more pressure i could light up the leds to gradually build up this face so that this is all this depends totally on your imagination i'm going to remove this show number command because i don't want to see the number i want to see the leds and if you if you remove it like this the entire thing comes out but if you just want to remove one one command if you keep the control key pressed and take it out you can remove a single command now i'm going to transfer this to my micro bit so when no force is applied we can see one led is lit up and as i start applying more and more force i you can see more leds are getting lit up and this is working quite well because i really have to apply a lot of force to make the wick light up so our basic logic of the game is working if you want to enhance the game further you can do that so for example you can add music i'm going to go into music and i'm going to select a melody you can also select a tone so i'm going to say if if it is up to 500 i don't want anything i just want a single led lit up and no music then at the next stage maybe i want to i want some sound and then i can keep increasing the number of notes that will play as the force is increasing and again you can tweak all this or you know use uh, some totally different music whatever you prefer and when maximum force is applied i'm saying play all the notes in the octave 
So let's transfer this program. So no force and only one LED is lit, no music. Then I apply a little force so one line lights up and I get a basic notes. I have applied a lot of force so all of them are lit up. So let's try it again. One LED. First line. Little more force. Second line. Little bit more force. And finally, a lot of force. And we have the entire candle lit up and all the notes playing. So I hope you like this simple game that we made. It could be a fun project to do for your school science exhibition.